Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a feature that got built-in native support with Emacs 27. I'm talking about Display Fill Column Indicator Mode, which pretty much does what the name suggests. If activated, it will show a vertical line in the specified column, which can be pretty useful when you have to conform to certain coding standards that specify a maximum number of columns. For example, a maximum number of 80 columns, which is probably the most famous restriction in that regard. So, let's get right to it. So, let's switch right to Emacs. I have prepared a little test buffer on the right, and on the left it's just a standard GNU Emacs. You can basically activate uh, the display fill column indicator two ways. You can either activate it globally by um, hitting Alt X or Meta X and go global display fill column indicator mode, as you can see down here. And as soon as I hit enter, I will have this uh, indication line in every buffer. So we can also activate it again by typing global display fill column indicator mode again. And as you can see, as soon as I hit enter, it's gone. But you can also activate it on a per buffer basis by simply entering display fill column indicator mode. And as you can see, we'll only get it in our test buffer. So with that out of the way, let's have a look what we can do with the customization. As always, we hit Metro X and enter Customize Group. And then we enter Display Fill Column Indicator. And we are presented with this little menu. As you can see at the top, we can toggle the Display Fill Column Indicator, which we did for the buffer on the right. We can choose the character, which is the vertical stripe or at the moment. And we can specify the column, which we want to fill. And down here we can specify the face and the colors and toggle the global display fill column indicator mode. So let's have a quick look. If we want to change the column, which is currently displaced, we can go in here. At the moment we are on the fixed column, which is 70. We can enter an integer. For example, we can go to 90. And we can hit apply now. And as soon as we activate the buffer on the right, you can see the column moves to the right and moves to column 70. We can also revert it back to 70. And as you can see, it's redrawn. So as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward. So let's have a look what we can do with the face. We can, for example, currently it's set to shadow. We can highlight it as um, indicated by the sample down here. As soon as we hit apply, you can see we have the character highlighted in the background. Let's switch back to shadow since I think that's bit better. Um, we can also change the color of our line. For that we have to show all attributes. Then we can change the foreground color. Currently it's set to black and we can choose and we get this nice little list here. We can for example go for midnight blue and as soon as we hit apply you can see we have a blue indicator line. And the last thing that I want to show you, which is arguably not very useful, of course, is you can change the character that is displayed. For example, we can enter a question mark, then we uh, hit apply, and as you can see, if I create a new one, we will have all of the question marks. But I guess it's not really useful. So let's switch back. Um, yeah, and that's basically all I wanted to show you. It's a nice little, nice little feature that's now native and built in in Emacs 27. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice evening.